Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series, the nominees are Trisha Cass, The Young and the Restless. Trisha Cass, The Young and the Restless. People, so I hope you'll bear with me. My mom and my dad, and my brothers and my sisters. <laughs> uh, Rochelle Soares, my dear friend. Uh, H. Wynne Pierce, who is here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, Andy Anderson. Estelle Hertzberg and Bobby Hoffman. Bill and his family and his writers and his producers. And uh, I have such an incredible support system over at the CBS. And I draw on them every day for the strength to do what I do. And they are the people on the stage and in the shops and in the booths, uh, up in hair and makeup. I did my makeup, and makeup thank God. <laughs> um, uh, up in wardrobe and up in the office. Uh, there are some good hearts walking around that place every day, and I am proud to be among them. Uh, my dear husband, John. the jury find the defendant Nina Kimball guilty of attempted murder we find the defendant Nina Kimball not guilty we find the defendant guilty we find the defendant not guilty guilty not guilty guilty not guilty 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 Look, David, I don't know what you're after, bringing my baby gifts, making moves on me. But it's got nothing to do with me, so it has to be my money. Why is it so hard for you to believe that I could care about you? And not just your bank account. Come on, David, when I was a poor kid working for peanuts in the photo gallery, you didn't even know my name. And now that I've got a few bucks, I'm suddenly irresistible. What am I supposed to think? It... What is, I mean, it, it's, um... Perfect fit. I guess it was meant for you. He wants to marry you. It's crazy for you and I to get married. I love you. Let's do it right now, today. What you mean alone? Mm -hmm. What do you say? You still don't trust him, do you? I want him, Cricket. I really want to, but. No, I'm afraid I don't. Nina, are, are you even in love with this guy? I'm wearing his ring, aren't that, I? That doesn't answer my question. You could be wearing that ring for a lot of reasons besides love. What reasons? Loneliness? Insecurity? A father for your son? No, I'm not engaged to David for any of those reasons.
So, things must have gone pretty well between you and David after Chase and I left. Cricket, it was incredible. I've never seen David more caring and supportive as he was today. And you want to know something else? What? I realized for the first time today that I really love David. I really do. And I want to be his wife very much. Just promise me. Promise me you won't rush into anything. No, Cricket, I can't. I have waited and tested long enough. It's about time I gave up all these doubts and suspicions where David is concerned. And you know something? I want you to give them up, too. I know that you mean well, Cricket, but from now on, I don't want another negative word about David in this apartment, all right? You do love me, don't you? Oh. You know that I do. Okay, and I love you too. That's all that's really important. Say that you'll marry me. Please. Tell me you'll be my wife. love him so much. God, what a fool I was. pretty lady over there that's your mom well i've been trying to get her to marry me so we can be a family yes do me a favor talk to her for me will you huh you certainly are persistent ah only when it comes to something that i want very much and that sweetheart is you if you want me to sign a prenuptial agreement, I will. Hand it over. Really, you will? Nina, if this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is you and not your money that I'm after, then I will be more than happy to sign it. every day until we're married. So we better get married sooner. I'm going to be out of money by the end of the month. David, you didn't have to do this. No, I know I didn't have to, but I wanted to. So a lot of wonderful things I want to do for you. You want to get married tonight? The sooner, the better. <sighs> Nina, look, I've been waiting a very long time to marry a girl like you. Don't keep me waiting any longer. Nina, the woman I marry has got to feel the same way I do about bringing up children. And so far, the one person who feels all those same things is you. So I, I hope with everything in me that you're going to be the one that you and I can raise a family together. together how much you loved me and it was all lies every bit of it was lies pretending to be in california when you were living right across the street 
even bug my house. My friends knew. But somehow you got that bug in time, didn't you? Has to be how it happened. Nina? guys, but as usual, I'm one step ahead of you. about something. Uh, wait, though. <laughs> My news first. <laughs> well, do you notice anything different? <laughs> Are we supposed to? Well, don't mm. I look any different than last time that you saw me? What are you talking about? Don't I have a special glow? <laughs> David, you said I had a special yes, glow. Yes, I did. <laughs> What's going on? Where were you last night? <laughs> Haven't you guys figured it out? Figured what out? We got married last night. David and I got married last night. You're looking at Mrs. David Kimball. But the marriage was only the beginning of your plans for me and my son. Once I became your wife, that's when you really started to manipulate me. I set you up in your fake business, promised you everything. That must have been when you started seeing your little friend, Diane. And about the same time, you conned me into changing my life. We're married. What's mine is yours. I know. Uh, well, I don't know what to say. Say it with me. How's married life going? Still agreeing uh, with you? Well, you want the truth. Yeah. It gets better every day, thanks to David and, and his love. Cricket, I couldn't be happier. I'm the luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> His will? Can you believe this? I mean, he's, he's so young, and he's busy, and he took the time to come up with that, to protect me and the baby. I, Nina Kimball, being of sound mind and body, do hereby revoke my prenuptial agreement. From this day forward, the said prenuptial agreement shall be null and void. What sort of changes did you have in mind? The people who received the money. Your beneficiaries? Yeah, I want everything to go to my husband and my son. You're making it very easy for him. If David divorces you, he <laughs> will get some of your money. What are you talking about? A divorce? David isn't going to divorce me. We're in love. 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 It's a legal document. Uh -huh. That's right. It is. And it's drawn up by John Silva. Signed and witnessed. 
It's a document that says I take no part of Nina's estate, not one dime in the event of a divorce. Oh, you were so smooth. How I believed in you. And all this time you didn't even like me. You hated my son. Oh boy, you loved my money, didn't you? Loved my money. You lied to me while you were making love to her. But you made one very big mistake, didn't you? Rebecca's Brooch that you ripped off your first wife's dead body after you killed her. That's how it happened, isn't it? That's how it happened. Yeah. Oh, hey, Nina, give me that. <laughs> Nina. This is a jewelry bag. You brought me something. You're so... S sweetheart, no, <gasps> sweetheart. Here, oh, honey. that's the most beautiful thing I've ever Nina. seen. Nina. Yeah. You know, sweetheart, I think I made a mistake buying you something that somebody else once owned. Why don't you let me take it back and get you something else? What are you kidding? David, I love this. I'm never going to take this thing off. <laughs> don't get mad at me, but I broke the clasp. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'll get it fixed. No, no, I took care of it, really. So, where were we? Uh, mm -hmm. What do you mean you took care of it? <gasps> I gave it to Cricket to take back the jewelers where it came from. What? 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 That brooch. You should have buried it with your wife, David. It came back to haunt you again and again. came back to haunt us all. It's nobody's fault that the clasp got broken. It was very nice of Cricket to offer to fix it, but that's not gonna happen now. So, you know, does it make sense for her to keep it? Why doesn't she give it back to us? I'll get it repaired for you. I'm gonna get your brooch fixed. Oh. Yes, I finally found a jeweler who said he could do it right away. So with any luck, we may have it back by tomorrow. What? Yeah, they take everything. I never should have been carrying that brooch with me. David, I want you to stop blaming yourself. Well, it just shouldn't have happened. Staged everything, David. Planting the cocaine in Danny's dressing room so he and Cricket couldn't get the brooch to Newark because you knew if they did, you'd be a dead man. There's one thing that you didn't count on, David. Our new neighbor, Vivian. Hi, Philip. Remember me? Yeah. I'm your neighbor from across the hall. Oh, he's beautiful, Nina. Yeah, I think so. He's so sweet and innocent. But please be careful with him, Nina. The children are so precious. So vulnerable. Vivian knew the truth. She was trying to warn me. She knew all about you, David, didn't she? The whole truth. She was young, wasn't she? Yeah, she wasn't much older than we are. Well, how did it happen? Was it a car accident? No, she was at home in her apartment. Nina, you know, what happened? It's really weird. She uh, was taking a bath, and I guess she was listening to the radio, and it was plugged in, and somehow it fell off. Oh. The ledge in the back. She was electrocuted. Yeah. You didn't even meet her, did you? Uh, no, I never did. I really wanted to introduce you to her. She was such a neat lady. God, I can't believe she's dead. 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 You killed her, Dave. You murdered that woman. You 
killed her! A killer. All those months I was married to a killer. I was lucky. Not like Rebecca. Not like poor Vivian. All I'm saying is your sister is gone. Maybe it's time for you to let go of this. Even if you do find some of these answers, is that really going to solve anything? You're saying it wouldn't bring Vivian back. But I think it would save you from torturing yourself. It's just so damn frustrating. I mean, even the way Vivian died, I know the kind of careful person she was. She'd never have taken a bath with an electric device next to the bathtub. Never. David, I hope you know how much it means to me that you want to adopt Philip. Oh, and it's not just that I want to. I honestly believe it's what's best for him. And I think we should do this soon. So then it was your husband's idea, this Yes. Topic. Yes. And I think it's wonderful. How many stepfathers want to have that kind of relationship with another man's son? Usually they don't give a damn about the kids, but David wants to be a father to Philip. He wants us to be a real family. God, how can you be so stupid? This man has been after your money from day one, but that's not enough for him now. Now he wants your baby's inheritance. That's it! Get her out of here! I don't know what I'm... Just think about it. Now, David tricked you into marrying him. He persuaded you to make out a new will that voided the prenuptial agreement, and now he wants to legally adopt your Why son. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing because this? I David, love me! Okay, I am scared to death. I really believe that you are in danger, both you and your son. Son, 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 son. Oh. I didn't listen to you, Cricket. You saw the truth the whole time. Why didn't I listen to you? <laughs> <laughs> I want some answers. I want to know why you haven't been straight with me about your bow and anything else you may have lied to me about. For once, I want the truth, and I mean now. And he brought joy and excitement into my life. He adores my little boy, and he wants to be his father. He wants the three of us to be a real family. It's, it's a very small and unselfish thing to ask, and I can make his wish come true. Do you understand why I believe in him? Why I want to do this? Mrs. Kimball, I understand that you love your husband. But just how well do you know him? You know what, Nina? If you don't want me to adopt your son, then just call off the adoption. Because I can't handle any more doubts and any more insinuations. Okay? Now tell us, why did you go see John Silva? Because I was scared. Scared of what? That David's not the same guy I thought it was. Then you, you believe us? You believe that he's up to something? Okay, I don't know. I'm so mixed up. I'm so confused. is not the answer. Where David is concerned, the drawer. Shit. Honey, don't worry about breakfast for me. I've got an early meeting. Uh, mm. Hey, sweetheart, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just I'm a little tired. I didn't get much sleep last night.
Let's not wait for the adoption. Let's do it right now. Sweetheart, it could be the honeymoon that we never had. Did you have some place in mind? Jamaica. What am I supposed to say to him? I'm his wife and he wants to take me off on a honeymoon. I don't have any excuse Tell for him. him. You have other plans. I don't well, have any do. other plans. You do. Danny and I are taking you to Newark. Well, rest assured, your son is going to be well taken care of. Oh, no, I am totally delighted to have him here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know this is the one place he'll be safe. Safe? Catherine, I need you to promise me something without asking a lot of questions. What? This is going to sound strange, but... If David calls, I don't want him to know that Philip is here. This is crazy. What am I doing here? I shouldn't be here. I should be home. I gotta find out once and for all if I can trust my husband. Cricket. I had to leave. Sorry about everything. Wish any luck on the concert tonight. Love, Nina. This has been hell. Trying to convince her that I cared about her wasn't easy. She kept holding me off, playing hard to get. Which, actually, that's funny, isn't it? A boring little frump like Nina playing hard to get. And actually, the only attractive thing about her is her money. So I romanced her. I said all the right things to her. I told her how much I cared about her. I couldn't live without her. You finally got the ring on her finger. Yeah, but then I had to live with her. I had to sleep with her, for God's sakes. A lot of nights, I would just lie there in bed listening to her snoring. And then I had to get up in the morning and play daddy to the little kid, convincing her that I wanted to adopt him. When actually, I really couldn't stand him. So look, I've got money for you. You pick a spot, someplace warm and sunny. I always wanted to go to Barbados. Good. You work on your tent, and then you let me know where you're staying. And as soon as I get the settlement out of Nina, I'm going to join you. You go ahead. You go to your little island paradise. You're gonna bake your brains out waiting for David Kimball to show up. Don't you understand? He's not gonna want you anymore. He's gonna want someone new. He's gonna want someone rich because it's gonna be a cold day in hell before he gets a dime of my money. Money, money, money. We found out David was married before. Her name was Rebecca. Now he took her to Jamaica. She's never been heard from since. David was married? Nina, there's more. When she disappeared, she was wearing your brooch. The same brooch David gave you. We have a photograph. And Vivian, the girl across the hall, the girl who died, she was a friend of Rebecca's. Right now, I, I know this sounds really crazy, but Danny and I really believe that David killed his first wife and Vivian, too. 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 I asked if you were going to leave me with Rebecca in Jamaica. 
Who's Rebecca? Okay, David, I'll play along. She's your wife. The one that you took to Jamaica on a belated honeymoon. But you came back alone. She was never found. And she was wearing my brooch when she disappeared. What do you think that means, David? Uh, I don't even know this woman, Rebecca. Of course you don't. I'm sure you don't know Vivian either. Rebecca's friend, who looks, by the way, amazingly like Kathy, the woman who lived across the hall, whose real name happened to be Vivian, too. But that's not such a coincidence, is it, since they were the same person. How did she die again, David? Oh, right. She was electrocuted when the radio fell into the tub while she was taking a bath. Or so the story goes. But you know what happened, don't you, David? You know exactly how that radio fell into the bathtub. Nina, I don't know what you're talking about, where you came up with this one. And then there's Danny. He was framed. Someone planted cocaine in his dressing room during a concert. Oh, so now you're going to pin that one on me, too? Don't play innocent, David, for once in your pathetic life. Be honest. 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 I know about Diane. Who is Diane? Don't treat me like an idiot, David. I was there. I was in your office when you were talking to Diane and planning to go away together. I saw it. I heard every cruel word. It's all over for you. See, the beauty of this thing is I don't give you a dime, and you're out of my life anyway. And how do you think you're going to do that? You're not going to pull that trigger. If you were going to shoot me, you would have done it by now. Come on, sweetheart. Give me the gun. <laughs> Honey, please. Honey, I'm the man you're... We, the jury, find the defendant, Nina Kimball, guilty of attempted murder. We find the defendant, Nina Kimball, not guilty. We find the defendant guilty. We find the defendant not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. 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 Guilty.